this is Gwen from Everything Gwenny, and today I'm just going to do a simple little review of this little item here called the Jewel Picker. Um, I am not a fan <laughs> of the pink wax. Uh, I do not like the little pieces, you know, wax not whatever you want to call it, that's left over sometimes when you pick it up and it kind of comes out the edges and it gets stuck on the beads and I really just don't like it. And so I've been looking for an alternative. I know a lot of people use the blue tack. I haven't been able to get that yet. Not that I haven't been able to, I haven't really tried. But I saw this video from Stitcherista and she had reviewed this and she had actually really liked it. I think she still prefers the, the blue tack, but she did like this. Um, so I'm going to give it a try. As you can see, uh, I haven't opened it yet. I just got this from Amazon. Um, I'll put a link uh, below. Um, all my Amazon links are affiliate links. Oh, however, they're for Amazon.ca, which I'm assuming most of you are American, so I don't even know if they work for you. But just so you know that they are affiliate links, um, I think pretty much anyone who puts Amazon links are affiliate links. But um, So it has two tips. It has a fine small tip and a big tip which I realize now that I, if I had opened this sooner, I could have probably used the big tips for these uh, big gems on my um, on my Grand Wolf here that I did and I just used my hands to put them on there, but that's okay. So we're gonna open this up and we're gonna take a look at it and see if it's as magical as I'm hoping it is because I'm really fed up with, uh, with wax. How do you guys feel about wax? Do you guys like the wax? What do you prefer to use? Do you like the blue tack? Do you like something completely different? I'm trying to find something that works for me because I'm just really picky. All right, so, oh, look at this. The lid, the lids, I don't know if you can see this. Uh, of course, it doesn't want to focus today, but the lids are pretty sparkly. So they have caps. And so if I remember this, it says, so you can pick up gems, crystals, rhinestones, beads, punch outs, confetti, and glitter. Uh, it may lose its adhesion by catching dust and oils from handling to regain its adhesion. Just roll the tip on adhesive tape. You can also control and weaken its adhesion by touching tip with your fingers. If the tip is covered by dust and cannot be removed with an adhesive tape, simply rub the impurities off with an ultra fine sandpaper. So that's all written on the back there. I think, I don't actually remember. I think I paid about $8 maybe for this. I'm not sure. So let's go ahead. So I'm going to use the fine tip. So there's the tip there. This is the fine tip. Oh, this is not focusing at all today, is it? So there's the fine tip. So. We're gonna just try. I've got some beads here. These are the gray beads for my Grand Wolf. And I'm just gonna open up the corner here. And let's see, can you see where I am? And I'll put the tray here so you can, can you see? Oh my gosh, let me move it up a bit here so you can see. All right, there we go. So I'm gonna just pick up a bead. Oh, it worked. Look at that, and then I'm going to put it down. I don't know if you can see because I can't watch up and down at the same time. And yeah, that worked really well. Let me just do a couple more. Oh, you know what? I'm very, very happy with this. Now, I don't know how long it'll last, and I don't know about this whole making it adhesive again with the. Uh, oops, now see? I picked up light too. So yeah, I accidentally stuck it in the middle there and picked up multiple ones. So let's just do that again. So it, it is a tiny bit finicky because I'm so used to like pushing down harder to pick things up with the wax. But I mean, that's just me. I mean, other than that, this is really, I really like this. So I can see that this would be good specifically for rounds. I'm not sure. How good it would be for squares when you have to like take them and like squish you know take them and like squish them into their spot more 
but yeah, for this, this is going fine. Let me just see if I can zoom in a little bit more for you. Nope, because it's going to get all fuzzy. That's pretty much as close as I can get. So, pick up a bead. Can we see? Yeah. Bead. There. Can you see? There's a bead on the tip there. Oh wow, my camera is not good today. Maybe the lighting's not good in here. I switched rooms, so. Anyways, there is a bead on there. And then I just put it down right there. And perfect. Pick it up. Put it down. Pick it up. Put it down. Yeah, so I really like this. I'm definitely going to use this for my rounds at least. Um, again, I don't know how long it'll last, but I think it's well worth it. Um, let me know if you've tried this and if you liked it. Um, if you've tried it with the squares, how did it work for the squares? I think I'll do that um, on next um, I, when I work on my the gift project that I'm working on at night time. Um, maybe I'll try this tonight and see how it goes. Uh, I wonder if the big tip will be better for the uh, for the squares maybe. I feel like I can see where I'm putting it too and I have like a little bit more control almost. Sometimes with these pens, you know the big, the pink pens, they're, they're so big and I sometimes can't see very well and then I'm but you know, then you can you have the power to kind of like scoot them around too. Whereas with this, you know, I feel like I might I might break the tip if I try to scoot it around too much. But uh, yeah, I really like this. So yeah, that works well for me. So again, let me know if you've tried this, what you thought of it. Um, if you haven't tried it, would you like to try it? Um, if you have tried it and you've tried it on squares, how that worked. And yeah, I'm definitely, this is, this is getting a good rating for me. Um, I'm going to keep using it uh, and I'll let you know how it works for the squares when I try that. And I think that this, this pen is going to be the gift that I'm going to use for my first giveaway. When I get to uh, 100 subscribers, I'm going to do a little giveaway and I'm going to send this pen to the winner of that giveaway. So uh, we need to get to 100 subscribers. I believe when I checked last, I was at 40, which, you know, my channel's pretty new. Um, and so I'm pretty excited about having 40. I didn't even expect to have that many at this point. And I think that that is just because the diamond painting community is so open and so friendly and everybody wants to support everybody. Um, in fact, that's part of the reason why I spent my morning this morning. Uh, I didn't sleep well last night, but I spent my morning this morning literally changing this office is a quiet office that I was doing my diamond painting in, but there's no technology here really. Like I had a laptop, but it's not very good. Um, but I was so far away from my computer, so I couldn't watch, I couldn't watch people do diamond painting. Um, and, and that kind of made me sad because I know a lot of you like to like diamond paint and do the paint with me. So you're actually painting while you're watching other people diamond paint. I kind of, I kind of wanted to do that too. So, um, 4.30 this morning, like I said, I couldn't sleep and my husband got up to get ready for work. So once he was up and I wasn't worried about making noise, I started moving things around. So I took all, I went into my work office and I cleaned off part. I have a big like U-shaped desk and I cleaned off part of the U-shaped desk and I uh, made it my new diamond painting home. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't seem that I can do videos there because I don't know if it's the light or just the way the, the setup is. I can't get the right camera angle. So I, I, I mean, I might be able to do like a paint with me there where nobody really cares about the quality and you just want to chat and then I can have my computer and see the chat messages coming in. Um, that would be fun. But uh, other than that, yeah. So yeah, that is the pen. Oh, and I just spilled my beads all over. So I'm going to have to clean that up. So yeah, this is the pen. It's called the Jewel Picker. Um, I got it from Amazon. It's from mm, 
Marvi Uchida. Oh, that's what it says at the top here. Oh my gosh, my camera today. I haven't had problems like this for a while. Anyways, so jewel picker, Marvi. RV Uchida. I got it on Amazon, I think for about $8. Like I said, I'll put the link in the bottom uh, and the price that I paid for it. Again, my prices are Canadian, uh, so you might go, oh my gosh, that's expensive, but you'll probably get it like half the price <laughs> if you're American. Um, that's why I like when people are always like, oh, I got this item from Hua Can on sale for like six bucks. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I wish I could get paintings for that price because that's never going to happen. Uh, so yeah, I hope you like this video. Um, if you did like the video, please give me a thumbs up uh, and feel free to subscribe for more videos. If you're interested in winning this pen, um, like I said, once I get to 100 subscribers, I will announce the giveaway and the details for that then. And uh, what I'll do is whoever wins it, I'll just basically order from Amazon and ship it right to their house. Um, it'll uh, be easier that way to come here. So I hope you like this video and I will see you in the next one.